Have you ever spent hours yelling at your screen trying to get the perfect response from ChatGPT? When you try different prompts but keep getting the same basic or unhelpful responses, or when you felt like you're not heard just like you used to feel it with your ex, or maybe it's just me. Anyways, when I started using ChatGPT, things were kind of similar. I had enough of those generic responses, so I set on a journey to master the art of prompting. I've spent countless hours of research, even taken paid courses, and after many trials and errors, I discovered a way to get hold of this immense power. That's when I cracked the code on the perfect prompt formula. And I was able to turn this generic and useless output into this. If you're new here, I'm Genesis, and I make videos to help people harness the power of AI. Today I'm spilling the tea on the only prompt formula you'll ever need to go from a complete noob to a pro at prompting ChatGPT or any similar AI. This formula will change the way you prompt. Stick around till the end, because I've also prepared a ChatGPT mini guide, consisting of 50 plus useful prompts and instructions which I will be giving away at the end of this video. So grab some snacks, get comfy, and prepare for some next-level AI prompting skills. Before we jump into it, let's understand what ChatGPT really is and how it works. And we're going to do this by asking this to ChatGPT itself. Let's see what it has to say. ChatGPT relies on a transformer framework, a type of sophisticated math and programming, to process and understand text in smaller chunks. It analyzes relationships between words, predicts what might come next in a sentence, and generates responses based on patterns learned from vast amounts of text data. So, how can we make sure it understands what we want to say? ChatGPT responds, To ensure it understands what you want to convey, try to be clear and specific in your questions or statements. Avoid ambiguous or complex sentences, and provide as much context as possible to help ChatGPT generate more accurate and relevant responses. Now that we got our basics clear, it's time to reveal the prompting formula. It's called TCEPFTM, which stands for Task, Context, Example, Persona, Format, Tone, and Magic. In a moment, everything will make sense. Let's break down each component with specific examples, starting with the task. The task defines your objective in clear terms. Start your prompt by stating the task you want ChatGPT to complete. Your task should be action-oriented with a strong verb like write, explain, summarize, etc. It should be as specific as possible and something ChatGPT can reasonably execute. For example, Write a 300-word blog post about the benefits of meditation is a good task statement. If you leave the task vague like, tell me about meditation, you'll likely get a generic definition instead of a blog post. Here are some more examples. Summarize this research paper. Explain quantum computing in simple terms. The second component is context. After defining the task, provide relevant context around the topic. Providing context gives ChatGPT guidance to narrow down the scope. Helpful context includes background info needed to complete task, user preferences and constraints, environment the output will be used in. For our meditation blog example, we could give context like, the audience is people new to meditation. Focus on the mental and physical benefits. In this example, Focus on the mental and physical benefits is the context. Next up, exemplars. They show ChatGPT exact examples of what you want. Exemplars give ChatGPT a template to follow for top-notch results. Include one-two samples like outlines existing content formats, visual mock-ups. For the same blog, we could paste a sample paragraph from a high-quality meditation post. Moving along, number fourth is Persona. It establishes a specific persona to shape the voice and style of the output. Defining a persona gives ChatGPT guidance on tone. Some example personas. A specific person. Elon Musk. Taylor Swift. A profession. Doctor. Engineer. Teacher. A fictional character or celebrity. A perspective. 
child, elder, non-native speaker. For our meditation blog, we may want a friendly yoga teacher persona. Next up is the... <clears throat> ah man, let me take a breath for a sec. Meanwhile, why don't you also take a second to subscribe this hardworking AI guy? Here we go again. The format component is crucial to visualize how you want the end result to look. Be explicit about what format you want the output in. For our example, specifying, in a blog post format with headings and 300 words, sets clear expectations. It can also include, but not limited to, bullet points, email, code, syntax, dialogue script, blog post. Our second last component is tone. Specifying tone aligns the language and style of the output. You should set the tone you want. ChatGPT to match. Some examples can be professional, conversational, comedic, inspirational. For our blog, we may want an upbeat, positive tone. Lastly, magic component is adding a bit creative touch. It inject creativity into your prompts. It add fun twists like Surprise me with an unexpected plot twist. Include a funny meme reference. Wow me with your creativity. Putting all these components together allow us to use the perfect prompt formula for our meditation blog prompt. One, write a 300 word blog post about the benefits of meditation for beginners. The audience is newcomers to meditation. Focus on mental and physical benefits. Here's a sample excerpt from a high quality meditation blog paste example. Take on the persona of a friendly, passionate yoga teacher. Use a blog format with headings and 300 words. Use an upbeat, positive tone. Surprise me with an unexpected perspective. This comprehensive prompt example demonstrates the utilization of the seven components to instruct ChatGPT to write a specific and unique blow post. Once a wise old man said, follow AI Genesis on Twitter and join his newsletter cause he doesn't share everything here on YouTube. Wow, didn't know that for sure. Thanks, wise old man. After you sign up for my newsletter, you will get my free ChatGPT mini prompt guide emailed to you. By following this framework, ChatGPT will deliver custom, high quality results tailored to your exact needs. This formula serves as a constant reminder to include just enough relevant information when writing prompts. It's not necessary to have all seven components in every prompt to get a good output. Now go forth, my prompt Padawans. May the AI force be with you. Use this simple yet powerful framework to level up your ChatGPT skills. I can't wait to see the creative prompts you all come up with using this formula. Let me know how it goes in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you, AI Masters, in the next video.